Hi guys, Woody here and welcome back to a brand new series. And yes, I have gone back to some Championship Manager 0102. Uh, I thought I'd go back and play a little bit of this, you know, just squeezed in there. I do love this game. It is literally, I think, one of the greatest games ever. Uh, so anyway, if you like CMO 102 stuff and you've just turned up and you're not subscribed to my channel, if you could, would mean a lot to me, smash that like button as well. It does help push the channel out to more people. Uh, now, the series here is going to come out on a Saturday. It's kind of replacing the Chatham one, which is now moving to weekly as the uh, the Journeyman save has finished. So we'll get these videos once a week. Uh, we'll try and get through and uh, hopefully try and win the Champions League with Gillingham. Now, you're probably thinking, why the hell has he picked Gillingham? There is a reason. When I very first started this game, um, when I first started playing this game, the first time I loaded it up, in 2001, 2002, ran about there. Um, the first team I picked was Gillingham. And I just avoided relegation with them. It was it was hell. It was absolute hell on earth. I could not... It was... Oh, my God. It was, it's just, it was just crazy. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go with Gillingham again and see if I can, you know, best that. In other words, you know, get promoted. And uh, hopefully I can do a lot better this time. Um, obviously, I know some some better players, and that this is the this is the pure sort of vanilla game, no extra kind of stuff added on or anything like that. So I played some, through some friendlies, kind of you know went on a tour of Scotland. We did pretty well. We did pretty well. Uh, the uh, three nil win over Aberdeen was the uh, uh, cherry on top. The one nil loss to Berwick was weird. Finances wise, uh, you know we'll just go through this. We got 850k left. I have spent someone. Uh, I've, you know, added some stuff, done that, sorted out training, all that kind of stuff. My oh, we'll, we'll have a look at the transfers. I've brought in Steve Palmer from Telford. He's a really good buy. He's really cheap, and he does a really good job. Uh, his tackling teamwork technique, work rate are absolutely brilliant. Not so great in these sort of stats here, but whatever. He's got great determination, and he's brave, and he's aggressive as well. And he's super duper cheap, and will do a job for you uh, pretty much in all divisions. Steve Farmer, yay. Uh, Andy Hessenthaler, obviously, he is a player manager. Uh, so when you take over, he gets sacked. So I've signed him again because, you know, Jill's legend and all. Uh, Butra, he is a bit of a free, uh, Chapman 01 free sort of legend. He's a striker. He's pretty decent. He's fast. He's good, good dribbling. Uh, his agility and balance. He tends to score a fair few goals. Championship might be just a little bit too high for him. And I have gone and uh, bought Hugo Pinero for 14k. I need a goalkeeper because Vince Bartram is not very good. And Jason Brown is even worse uh, on this game. So I bought him. 20 years old. It's going to be a goalkeeper forever, uh, which is a great, great bit. And I have gone and bought, yes, Tomadira. Now, I, past instances when I've played this, I usually play the updated um, databases or the... Um, well, the patch ones and all that kind of jazz. So I never get to use Tomadira. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy him. And he costs 425k. And he is amazing. So I bought Tomadira. So mm, there you go. We haven't sold anyone. A few transfers in. Uh, we are trying to get an Ibrahim Saeed, a great player. Billy McKinley, uh, just to beef up our midfield. He's a good, cheap free signing. And obviously, the greatest free transfer in championship slash football manager history, Taribo West. He is joining Gillingham. We're just waiting for a work permit, which you'll get because he always gets it. Um, the Gillingham squad is quite ordinary. Otherwise, uh, the best players are Chris Hope, 28-year-old uh, central defender. He is captain of the team, and he's pretty good. Look, bravery, 17. Agility, 17. Um, he's got some decent pace. His marking, all right, no, isn't great. Was his tackling? Okay, 10, but he's... He's a pretty good defender. And the other one is Marlon King. is a pretty good striker. He usually, he usually comes out pretty good. Like in this one, he's got good pace, acceleration. So he's fast. Got two goals in friendlies. He is injured, though, for 10 days, along with uh, Mark Lovell. Um, but that's okay. So that's the other reason why I picked Gillian, because we can kind of, like, change out a lot of these players uh, and get in some good players. So I've still got a little bit of cash left. Uh, obviously, there's no transfer window in this. So, you know, you just kind of keep going but we should probably get into some games because that's why we're here we're going to play man city today so we're going to straight into the man city game uh we're doing this a four one three two it's the standard sort of one and i just tweaked a couple of the team instructions here wait that's supposed to be attacking that's supposed to be direct mm -hmm. don't know what happened there okay let's just 
save that again. Okay, weird. Uh, oh, wait, hold on, Paul Smith. Um, no, that's right. I don't know why that wasn't saved. Anyway, let's get the game off. We should get started. I don't know why the bottom has been cut off weirdly like that. I think it's just because um, I had to try and re... It was really, really hard to get the right um, resolution and stuff for this to, to play. Um, horrendous. But anyway, I got there in the end, but I don't know why it's cut off down the bottom. So I do apologize. Maybe we'll go here so you can see some of the commentary in the middle, which is just absolutely brilliant. Um, that, like, you just imagine how this game is going with all this stuff being played here. At the moment, we're coming to halftime, and it is nil all. Man City are a good team. They actually get promotion this year uh, into the uh, Premier League with uh, Double Care uh, in charge. But there it is. Steve Farmer on his debut, scores for Gillingham. And puts us 1-0 ahead. We'll probably look to make some changes in about the next 10 minutes, I reckon. And it's uh, 65 minutes on the clock is uh, substitution o'clock. If you haven't been watching many of my games, you... Yeah, that's what I like to do. Uh, we skip that because it's really hard to get on there. And I was talking Barry Ashby is not playing that good. We're going to bring on Richard Rose. I did uh, take out Guy Butters because he has pace at 3, which was a bit like, eek, Tomadier on a 6. Uh, we'll bring Kevin James on for him. Just easing his way into the uh, English game, Tomadira, after uh, playing a lot of football in the lower leagues of Portugal. Or something like that. Uh, but we are winning 1-0 here at the moment. The match stats have been dominated by Manchester City, but Hugo Pinero is obviously having an absolute worldy of a game on a 9. He is, and we look... Oh, Darren Huckabee. Oh, and then we get an injury to Ty Gordon. Uh, not good. We'll bring in, bring on uh, Marcus Browning. Uh, he didn't play any games. We'll bring on Aid, Aidy Pennock. Swap him with Steve Palmer. Because Steve Palmer probably should play on that side. That's a bit of a blow. Can we get one here at the last minute to get the win, which we probably don't deserve? Oh, it's close. No, Hugo Panero, and it is the final whistle. Wow, Man City absolutely dominated that game. Stuart Pierce, captain, man of the match. 39-year-old Stuart Pierce. Well, there it is. That That's pretty good. I'll take... Oh, I got in three weeks. That's a blow. I will take a draw against Man City in the first game. Let's go and play. Uh, okay, that was... Yeah, here he is. Toribo West. Oh, Toribo West is a Jules player. You couldn't even make it up, could you? That's who we are. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm trying to get in Jacob Burns just because I'm Australian. He's not very good, but he's a midfielder and we'll get him in. Uh, we're doing some scouting there. Toribo West is in the team. We'll shift him out of there into his defensive training. Cool. And we'll go and play West Brom. All right, back from the West Bromwich Albion game. I forgot how fast these things go as you fly through. Uh, Jackie Burns doesn't want to join me online. I am trying to get in uh, Alexander Farnerod as well. Um, half a million. I don't know how I'm going to work this because that's 900k. We don't have that much. But old Iffy, uh, Iffy's... I've got Iffy and uh, Guy... Iopia, I think that's how you say it. Something like that. I want them out. Hopefully, they can get me some money in. And uh, yeah, that's that's that. Anyway, uh, let's Trevor West three. He's in. Let's go West Brom. Keep the game off. Play ratings. Uh, Rudolf Fox, love it. Danny Dicchio, Tom Dira. Come on, come on, boys. This is it. We need to win here. West Brom, another good team. I think, did they get promoted this? No, they didn't get promoted this year in real life. But still a very good team. Uh, and it is all one-way traffic with Gillingham at the moment. So, yeah, there it is. Chris Hope rising above like a mighty salmon. I'm sure that was from some sort of set piece uh, as he does defender getting on to that one. And that is a good start for us as West Brom try and pull one back now. But... It is Gillingham all the way, and there it is. Browning scores his first ever goal. Missed all of preseason due to injury, but he is back. I remember one time when I first started playing this game, um, it was brilliant because I think I can't remember who the team was. I was playing another team in blue in my first match as Gillingham, and I kept thinking that we were scoring as it kept flashing up, and it was the other team. Um, yeah, I was an idiot. Uh, everyone's looking pretty good condition-wise. We'll restart the match as we are dominating this one. 11,482. Get in. Tomadira scoring his first goal for the Jills. And we will look now to make a substitution. Uh, everyone's looking pretty good condition-wise. Nyron Noseworthy and Big Andy. Hess and Tyler a little bit tired. That's all right. We'll bring on AD Pennock there. 
and Danny Spiller for uh, Hess and Tyler. We'll bring on Butcher for Paul Shaw. Why not? Let's make the three. Triple substitution as we are dominating uh, West Bromwich Albion here. Can Butcher get a goal on his debut? Is it his debut? Did he play last game? I can't remember. I cannot remember, but we are going to run out deserved victors here. Are we? Definitely. They can't come back from here. Can we get? Can we make it four? It doesn't look like there it is. It's full time. Great stuff from the Jules. Marcus Browning, man of the match. Trebo West on a seven. That is an excellent start to the uh, to the season with a draw and a victory. Uh, we're going to play the League Cup game against Brentford. They're in Division Two. Oh, Brentford! Wow, check it out. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll see you for that one in a minute. All right back for the uh, Brentford game. Chris Hope is actually a little bit tired, so we are going to take him out. Uh, we're going to give Guy Butters in with his three pace. Um, he's just a bit of a, a bit of a wall, but I did notice Marcus Browning and Steve Palmer are also a little bit tired, which is, uh, well, I think we'll just monitor them and we'll leave the team as is. Uh, we do Burnley. Oh, it's quality, quality. Yep, Teribo West can be captain. Kick the game off against Brentford. Darren Powell, nice. I've got to stop clicking on players because we could go down a massive rabbit hole here. Now, a bit of a cup run would be nice, a bit of cash uh, and all that sort of stuff there would be good. But it is a pretty boring first half here. 27 minutes on the clock and not a lot of happening here. If you look at the match report at half time, probably not much has happened. Um, but it is Brentford now. Oh, and there it is. Rollins. Oh, Martin Rollins. Yep, yep. Getting goal. That's not good. It is Brentford. Ah, Brentford are killing us here. We've got absolutely nothing going for us. I bet you this is Guy Butters and he's... Uh, no, get in, no, no. Oh, the whistle's already gone noseworthy. Dang it. Tomadira, come on. Big toe. Uh, we, we we pulled it back there towards the, uh, the the end of the second half, getting a few more shots in. How is Guy Butters doing? He is on a five, a yellow card. Oh, Guy, you are going to come off. Can AD Pennock play? AD Pennock has pace of 6-2. Oh, Richard Rose. It's probably going to have to be Richard Rose for Guy Butters there. That's disappointing. And we will bring Mbutra on for uh, that man, Paul Smith. We will have a look at the condition. Marcus Browning, 77. And there it is. Marcus Browning scores a goal and gets it back to one all. Get in. Oh, no, one knows whether he's not going to be denied a second time as he bags uh, the goal to put Gillingham in the lead. Ah, uh, oh, Brentford have pulled one back. Hunt now. Uh, how is everyone looking? Marcus Browning is tired. Um, he's on a nine. Let's just keep going. Let's just go. Marcus Browning, he can have a rest for the next game against Burnley. This is two all in a really, really tight game. Come on, Tomadira. Uh, we should probably look to make another change very soon. Steve Palmer's not playing great. Not sure I've got too many other people to bring on it. Danny Spiller, oh god. Oh, uh, Danny Spiller, oh jeez. Mm, I'm going to leave it as it is and hopefully something happens here. But we might be going into extra time and possibly penalties. That'd be great. And is it going to go to extra time? Is it extra time? I think it is extra time. Yeah, there it is. End of 90 minutes now. Uh, the match stats, we have dominated this. Their goalkeeper, 33-year-old uh, Olaf Gotha Carlson, uh, has been an absolute rock. Uh, condition, yeah, Marcus Browning is absolutely knackered. We're going to, no, no, you know what? He's going to stay on. He's just going to stay on. Come on. Oh, Taribo West. Taribo West has gone in two-footed and absolutely killed us here. So I am going to bring AD Pennock on now for Marcus Browning and we'll drop him back into the center of defense and drop Big Hess there. Taribo, Taribo, Taribo. A big two-foot challenge. I think this is going to go to penalties eventually. Would you believe? Uh, Brentford in League One. Oh, no. Noseworthy with a penalty. Why is Naira Noseworthy taking penalties? I do not know. I haven't set a penalty taker, but he's having a great game. He's old Naira in there with the two goals from right back. Tomadira, he is... Really, really trying for a goal. He hasn't got one yet. The Brentford goalkeeper has been absolutely amazing. <laughs> we have 18 shots on target. 
And uh, we finally come out winners 3 2. What a game over Brentford in the cup. Oh, sorry, Bell West 3 match ban. I wonder if we have the draw for the League Cup next. We might just check that one out. Um, oh, here it is. And we've got some scattered players here. Jean Paul Potter. No, he's rubbish. Who the draw? Who do we get? Draw teams. It is Sheffield United, fellow Division 1 teams with Peter and Love. Loving it. All right, guys, I'm going to go away once again. Uh, we're going to play a few games. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll come back. Oh, no, Portsmouth, Portsmouth, Portsmouth. They're pretty good then. Watford have a pretty good team as well. Oh, Watford, Stephen Glass, very, very good. Uh, Crystal Palace uh, have a pretty decent team as well. We'll come back somewhere around here maybe um, after playing a bunch of games. And uh, I'll see you guys then. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. A uh, bit of a dive back into CM0102. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.